Peace be to you. Today we reflect the encounter of Jesus and Nicodemus. Nicodemus met Jesus during the night. Usually the lawyers they study the law and discuss during the night in the Jewish customs. And it might have been an another reason that because of the Jews having a member in the Sanhedrin group might have visited Jesus during the night. We reflect from the Gospel according to St. John 1.23 Jesus knew very well who are all the people who believed him and who are all not believing or in a peripheral state. This Nicodemus was completely a different person who had a deep faith in Jesus Christ. So he wanted to discuss with him about the rebirth and eternal life. And Jesus told him, told him that it was one has to born again. And Nicodemus took it as literal meaning and asked him, quoting a proverb. But Jesus said, it was not going again to the mother's womb and being born, but being born of the spirit, spirit and water, a living water is the spirit. It was the Jewish apocalyptic writings that I will give them the words, I will give them the new heart, I will give them the spirit so that they will be united with me and from that day to the eternal life. So this was the olden writings words that they had the tradition of God giving them spirit and it is the time of the Messiah in which God gives this Holy Spirit. By this Holy Spirit, people will be purified inwardly, eternally from all their weaknesses and purified to sit with the Lord. And when they are purified, they are born of the Spirit. They are the new person. They are purified with the living water. So it is the spirit that gives new life. The spirit originates from Jesus Christ. The spirit comes from the Lord. We reflect in yesterday reading, Jesus was giving them spirit giving them spirit so that they can do the missionary work. By commissioning the missionary work, by believing the Christ Jesus by the people, they will be forgiven from all their sins. A new life is begun. Same way, here spirit is given, the spirit reduces people from all their ailments, from all their inward weaknesses.
and sinfulness. Let us offer ourselves, open ourselves to the power of the Spirit, to the working of the Spirit that originates from Jesus Christ. The Spirit is the one who leads people, who leads God's church. Let us allow ourselves to be led by the Spirit. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the Spirit. Spirit gives new life. Spirit gives eternal life. And we are born again. The rebirth of the person is being evolved or composed of the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. All of us with your grace to open ourselves to the working of the Holy Spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.